Okay, guys, we're doing. Another, I'm doing another video. Um, it's gonna probably end up sounding like a rant video or something like that. As you can see, I'm switching on my Atari ST. Uh, I've decided to come back to the Atari ST just to, well, basically because I got a game um, to test it out on. Um, there's the game. And I was hoping just to test that and maybe do a bit of a gameplay vid on it. Well, as you can see, guys, not much is happening. Um, if I look down, if you look down there, the disc is in the drive and it's not booting at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go quiet and let you listen. It's as if the disc isn't even there. You might not be able to pick that up very well, guys, but that is some of on that on the disc side of things. If I Sorry to say, man, I'm a little, little bit. You can see. Nothing appears to be wrong with the disc. It goes in. Seems to be okay. And, um... When you come to switch it on, nothing. Might be one of them days, guys, to be honest with you. So, for now, um, I'm going to put that on the back burner a little bit, because if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit annoyed with it. Um, anyone with an understanding of ST disk drives might want to shoot me a PM or leave me a comment or something like that. That'd be sweet. Maybe just give me some idea. Um, is there something that I'm missing in terms of booting it or whatever? Um, my understanding of it was that the disc would just go in, switch it on, and it worked. Uh, this would explain the issues that I've had trying to format discs on this thing using TOS, uh, using the um, green desktop thing there. So, still not finished with the ST, still an ongoing project with the ST. Um, need some clo I would, I'd love some closure on this, I'd love to start playing games on this bloody thing, I mean that's what I intended to get. I've, this is basically two half, it's two halves of two machines. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you know. Um, I've spent a lot of time on this, and I'm just, I just want some closure now to be honest with you guys. So, anyone who's got any understanding of disk drives might have a, is it a disk drive problem? Is there something else? And um, if if there's some knowledge, some knowledgeable people out there that might have an answer, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Love to know what you might suggest. Uh, appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. See you in the next one.